Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights here with a quick review for the uh, very charming 1950s styled uh, cracked difficulty game Cuphead. Now, um, I believe I forgot to say my playtime and completion rate, which I wanted to start doing uh, in my last game review, so I'll just say before I forget. I have 44 hours uh, playtime. I have, let's see, 66% completion. I have soloed every single boss in this game, including the DLC, so there you go, those are my statistics. Uh, before we get into the video, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, I would be very thankful to you. And by the way, whenever I say subscribe, um, notice I never say to, to ring the bell or whatever, because honestly, this is a channel that you should not ring the bell to, because I have such a variety of content, like if you subscribe specifically for movie reviews, you know, you probably don't want to be getting notifications about... Uh, random video games that I like to play, right? So, I, I do, honestly, obviously I recommend subscribing, but no, honestly, I, I don't recommend ringing the bell. Um, so, yeah, it's not like there's gonna be a ton of Cuphead content on this uh, channel. I just want to create this video because it has been a hot minute since I've played this game, I won't lie. Um, but I want to make this video because in case there's a Cuphead 2 one day, I want to have this as a precedent, have my thoughts recorded, and in case I watch the Cuphead Netflix show, I also want to make sure I've had this beforehand as well. Um, so yeah, Cuphead. Well, the plot is uh, very simple. We're following two uh, innocent children named uh, Cuphead and Mugman. They are brothers. And uh, against their uncle Kettle's uh, wishes, you remember it's what's the word? I learned this in English class, um, but I'm blanking on it now. When you kind of like humanize uh, objects, that's sort of what this game's going for, so all of these sort of household objects and stuff are actual real real people in this universe. So they go to the Devil's Casino and they start playing craps, and uh, even though they're children, so child gambling. I mean, that's actually not that uncommon anyway. I mean, if you're a kid playing FIFA, then you're basically already a child gambler, right? Unfortunately. Um, so the children are gambling at this casino, and the devil, uh, so they're on a winning streak, and the devil basically offers them, if you can win this next hand, this next roll, I will give you all the money in my casino, but if you lose, I get your souls. And they kind of don't hesitate at all, and they just take him up on his offer. We don't know if the devil cheated, it probably did, but we don't know if he does. They roll snake eyes, and uh, they beg for mercy, but the devil will not hear it. Uh, but he offers them an alternative. If he's not going to give them their souls, then he wants them to be debt collectors on his behalf and to go basically and beat up every single deadbeat that owes him money, uh, which is just all of the bosses in this game is a large variety. There are four aisles in this game, including the DLC, and it's basically, it's, I'll just tell you why it's a great game. The art. The art is the reason why it's such a great game. It's 1950s sort of Disney Mickey Mouse style. Um, it's just beautiful to look at, and it's integrated with the gameplay itself very well. A lot of, like, it is a very challenging game, arguably one of the, I, I don't know. I, I think Sekiro is harder. I definitely struggle with Sekiro more than I struggled with this, but this is still up there in terms of difficulty, especially if you're not used to, like, 2D side-scrolling games. Do not beat yourself up if uh, you can't complete this one. I totally understand if you can't. I, I got through it through uh, sheer determination. I don't think, I don't feel I ever got good, I don't feel like the game ever really clicked with me in the way it was probably did for a lot of people, but I just got through it from sheer determination, I eventually overcame it, it was very rewarding, but uh, yeah, so the game's great because of its art and how well integrated it is with its gameplay, the bosses are all of very high quality, I would say every single boss fight in this game are all high quality things except for one, which is like the second boss in the game, which is this blue goober that jumps around the screen. Um, but otherwise, the game is always at S tier quality. You're getting your money's worth. It's a it's a fair price point. Game length is pretty good. Uh, the replayability is 10 out of 10. This is a game that you're going to be replaying over and over and over a lot uh, because it just never gets boring. Um, there's a great weapon variety. There's a few different play styles and strategies you can do per encounter. And uh, another thing with replayability is that there is an expert mode. I I don't think I can beat this game on expert mode. Some of the more challenging bosses, I just don't think I can handle them on expert. But uh, that just adds another greater challenge for people who just want to get even more money for their buck, right? So, yeah, Cuphead's amazing. Now, are there any faults with it? 
Not really. I, I guess the running guns are a little lame occasionally, but I mean, they're kind of optional anyway, so I can't really fault the game for that. Um, but yeah, no, I don't really have any strong um, negatives really. The game is just a perfect example of that modern gaming is not dead and they can still create fantastic little products like this. So Cuphead gets a 10 out of 10. It is one of the most challenging games to ever exist out there for sure, uh, but it's very rewarding, and um, all of the other, it's just like Dark Souls, right? Like, Dark Souls is hard, but like, you don't get too frustrated at it because it's usually your fault. Like, Cuphead is not a game where I'm like screaming when I die. I'm like, okay, I see what I did wrong there, you know? There's not really any BS here. It's all very fair and well put together. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend Cuphead. Fantastic game. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.